Costly maintenance for hearing aids is forcing some New Zealanders to stay overseas even though they want to come home. That's because the Ministry of Health won't pay to maintain cochlear implants which patients didn't receive here. Renee Graham explains. 35-year-old Claire Baston is profoundly deaf, but five years ago a cochlear implant operation in Britain radically changed her life. If it breaks down tomorrow, I wouldn't be able to do my job, I wouldn't be able to communicate with people so well. The implanted hearing aid gave Claire the confidence to travel to New Zealand. Now she's a permanent resident. But she's been told the health ministry won't pay for the maintenance or replacement of her cochlear implant because the surgery was done overseas. I feel excluded. I have been working since I arrived in New Zealand. I've been paying taxes. It's deliberate. Um, they're trying to exclude as uh, many people as they can. Cochlear implants are electronic devices requiring regular tuning, costing up to $200 an hour. If they break down, replacements can cost up to $55,000 each. If you've had it done overseas and some other government had provided the funding, we won't provide the ongoing support. One News has learned some New Zealanders living overseas aren't coming back home because of the funding criteria. Shirley Edwards in Brisbane says she couldn't risk the big bills. I have met a fair few people over here who are in the same boat and it stops them from going back because there's no way they can afford it. In a statement, the health minister says support is available for people who have received their implants overseas, but this must be paid for. Tony Ryle says if a person is eligible for public health services and their implant received overseas fails here, they are eligible to be assessed for the cochlear program and receive a replacement implant. Last year, funding for implants was increased nearly $2 million. But that won't help Claire Baston with the ongoing maintenance costs of her British cochlear implant. Renee Graham, One News.